Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is AP Physics Essentials video 90. It's on the conservation of charge in reactions, more specifically in nuclear reactions. And so let's look at the fission of uranium-235. So if we hit it with a neutron, it will quickly break apart into barium-141 and krypton-92. So the charge we had before that reaction is equal to the charge that we have after. Now this is a nuclear reaction, so we can ignore the electrons that are so important in chemistry, and let's just write it out. So we've got on the left Left side a neutron plus a uranium atom equals a barium plus a krypton plus three of the neutrons and so we're ignoring the electrons but we still still should include the charge that's going to be the positive charge inside the nucleus and then the mass number as well so we'd write it out like this and so a neutron has a charge of zero and it has a mass number of one if we look at uranium it has a charge of 92 plus those are the 92 protons and a mass number of 235 remember the atomic number or the number of protons tells us what atom it is so this is uranium now if we look at the charges on the left side so it's a 92 plus a 0 so that's a 92 plus charge we're gonna have an equal charge on the right side so we have the plus 56 plus 36 and then we have zero charge from the three neutrons now we also have conservation of mass so if we look on the left side the mass number is 235 plus 1 so that's 236 and we're going to have an equal mass number on the right side 141 plus 92 plus those three mass numbers of the three neutrons is going to add up to 236 as well and so conservation of charge holds in reactions, and the ones we're talking about are nuclear reactions. Even if those nuclear reactions create or destroy elementary particles, if we create an electron, for example, or we convert a neutron into a proton, we still conserve our charge. If we make a positive, we're gonna have to make a negative. And so the ones that we'll study will be nuclear decay. And so in chemical reactions, remember, like if we're burning methane in a Bunsen burner, what's most important is going to be the electrons. That's what chemistry is all about. But but if we're dealing with nuclear reactions, we're just dealing with the nucleus itself. So those are going to be the nucleons, the protons and neutrons on the inside. And so we can pretty much ignore the electrons unless an electron is created in this nuclear process. And so let's start with alpha decay. Alpha decay is the, is the giving off of an alpha particle, which is going to be an alpha particle is two protons and two neutrons no electrons, so it's gonna have a two plus charge. It's essentially giving off a helium atom that doesn't have any electrons. And so if we write it out, this would be our nuclear reaction. On the left side, let's say we have uranium-238. It's undergoing alpha decay, so it's giving off an alpha particle on the right side. We can build, kind of working backwards, what the atom is that's created under alpha decay of uranium-238. And so let's start with a mass number. So the mass number, on the left we've got 238, on the right, we've got a mass number of four plus what's going to be in this box right here. Well, conservation of mass, that's going to be 234. We could do the same thing with the charge now. On the left side, what's going to be our charge? Charge of 92 plus on the left side. Again, we're ignoring the electrons. What's our charge on the right side? Two. So what's going to be the charge right here in this box? Uh, conservation of charge, it's got to be 90. So we have a, a charge of 90 plus. Now that we know there are 90 protons in the middle, we also know what the atom is going to be. We know it's going to be thorium-234 if we undergo decay of uranium-238. So that's alpha decay. We could also look at a couple of different types of decay, beta minus decay. So if we look at beta minus decay, an example could be breakdown of carbon-14 or the decay of carbon-14 into nitrogen-14. So if we look at that, on the left side, what's our charge? It's a 6 plus. What's the charge on the right side? Well, in nitrogen, it's seven plus. Okay, so we've created a positive charge. Where did that come from? Well, we took that neutron inside the nucleus and made it into a proton. So since we've made that positive charge, we have to make an equal negative charge. What's that gonna be? An electron. And so in beta minus decay, we're giving off an electron. So the electron is important here. What else? We have an electron antineutrino. Now that doesn't have any charge and it doesn't have any mass, but it's still produced in beta minus decay. And so we have a balance of charges on the left and the right. So on the left side, we've got six. On the right side, we have plus seven, 
minus one, so we have a charge of plus six on the right side. Charge is conserved. Now let's look at beta plus decay. So if we look at the decay of magnesium 23 into sodium 23, what are we producing? Well, we're producing a positron now, and we're producing an electron neutrino. And so if we look at our charges on the left side, charge of 12 plus, on the right side, 11 plus in the sodium, but we're also producing that positive charge in the positron itself. And so did you learn to analyze electric charge? Know that the charge before and after a nuclear reaction is conserved? I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.